Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. So uh, in this session, we are going to discuss uh, MCQs based on banking ombudsman or uh, the uh, RBI uh, Integrated uh, Ombudsman Scheme 2021. Okay, so whenever we talk about banking ombudsman, it is um, a person who generally resolve customer complaints. Okay, so if you have any complaint uh, toward the banks, NBFCs or financial institutions, so you can approach banking ombudsman and they have given um, one month to resolve your uh, cases. So throughout the video, we will discuss number of questions based on um, integrated uh, banking ombudsman scheme or uh, the uh, integrated scheme. So here we will understand uh, what kind of question you may face uh, in examination. Okay, so please uh, do like and uh, share the video with your friends. And uh, if you are new, please uh, do subscribe. So we will start with first question on your screen. So RBI integrated um, ombudsman scheme was passed in which of the following year? So whenever we talk about integrated uh, ombudsman scheme, previously we have three different different scheme like uh, banking ombudsman scheme 2006, we have NBFC ombudsman scheme uh, 2018 and uh, ombudsman scheme for digital transaction 2019. So in 2021 RBI that generally merge all these three scheme. So now it is uh, uh, now it is generally known as RBI integrated ombudsman scheme. So option D will be correct answer for this particular question. Okay. So Reserve Bank of India integrated uh, ombudsman scheme 21 uh, was launched um, by RBI launched by RBI. Uh, in a uh, which is launched by um, uh, Honorable uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi sir in 2021. So this scheme uh, integrated the existing three scheme. So earlier we have Banking Ombudsman Scheme 2006 and uh, NBFC Ombudsman Scheme 2018 and uh, Ombudsman Scheme for Digital Transaction 2019. So now with all these three uh, schemes merged with one and that is generally known as Integrated Ombudsman Scheme 2021. Okay, so this is very very important one for examination purpose. Please do remember all the three scheme along with uh, your Integrated Ombudsman Scheme 2021. Right, next one. The uh, Ombudsman Scheme is defined under Dash Section of Banking Regulation Act 1949. So basically first thing you need to know uh, this is scheme ombudsman scheme that generally comes under uh, banking regulation act 1949 and it is defined under section 35a of banking uh, regulation act 1949 so section 35a where we have uh, the um, uh, discussion about kyc and other things as well so similarly this scheme is also defined under this uh, banking um, uh, 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 banking Ombudsman Scheme is also defined under BRX 1949 under Section 35A. Next one. In, if a complaint is not settled by um, an agreement within a period of this month, uh, the Banking Ombudsman proceed um, further to pass an award. Okay, so um, let's say bank, the role of Banking Ombudsman is uh, to uh, resolve your complaints. So let's say if you have any conflict with any bank, so you can approach banking ombudsman. Now, if bank is not solving that particular problem, first you will approach to bank. If bank is not responding or they are not giving you proper solution, so you can approach banking ombudsman. Uh, so within a month, you have to file your uh, case uh, with banking ombudsman and you can file online as well as offline. We have 22 ombudsmen uh, throughout the India. Okay, so if uh, to resolve that particular case, banking ombudsman they all they also have one month time okay so what will be your correct answer one month even within one month if uh, there is no discussion so they'll pass on the reward about banking ombudsman okay so one month is the right answer for this one so if a complaint is not settled by an agreement within a period of one month uh, within a period of one month the banking ombudsman proceed further to pass award before passing an award the banking ombudsman provide a responsible opportunity uh, for the uh, complaint and a uh, bank to uh, uh, present their case okay so to file your case with banking ombudsman so you have uh, 30 days even banking ombudsman they also have 30 days to resolve that particular case next question which of the following statement is are correct regarding 
OSTDD that is Ombudsman Scheme for Digital Transaction. Okay, it was passed in 2019 towards the uh, uh, digital or online uh, related cases. Okay, so the Ombudsman Scheme for Digital Transaction was passed on launch in 2019 or 31st January 2019, which is a correct statement. OSDD was launched in exercise of, of power conferred, conferred under Section 18 of Payment and Settlement Act 2007. This is also correct. It provides a cost-free uh, and expeditious uh, complaint redressal mechanism for um, redressal complaint uh, which is related to digital transaction. So this is so all of the above statements are correct towards the Ombudsman scheme for digital transaction. So D will be correct answer for this uh, particular question. Okay, so try to remember these particular facts. These will help you in your upcoming examinations. So online scheme for digital um, transaction is again very important because nowadays there are so many like sometimes bank they generally charge uh, uh, unnecessary fee so you can approach a uh, banking ombudsman or even any payment agency as well okay next one which of the following is correct regarding a complaint management system so this is a system where uh, like uh, this is a online portal basically where you can file your complaint against bank okay or even you can monitor the current status of that particular complaint okay so uh, the complaint management system it was introduced in 2019 was launched by RBI the application was launched to give ease uh, to customer so uh, they uh, can lodge complaint against um, any regulated entity with a public interface this is correct uh, complaint management system was launched uh, on 24 June 2006 this is an incorrect statement it was launched in 2019 so what will be your correct answer uh, so uh, you have to identify the incorrect one it should be incorrect one so it should be incorrect because uh, statement c is incorrect towards the uh, complaint management system okay so please do remember this one so it was launched on 24th of june 2019 okay next one which of the following statement is uh, are not correct which means incorrect with respect to banking ombudsman so banking ombudsman is a quasi uh, judicial authority so they can make their own decisions okay so this is the correct one banking ombudsman is appointed by rbi for a maximum period of three years which is also correct uh, banking ombudsman charge fee so this is incorrect statement they do not charge any fee for uh, filing any uh, complaint or for taking any complaint of customers okay so option c is incorrect so far there are 22 banking ombudsmen offices in the country so this is also correct so option c is the incorrect statement about banking ombudsman okay so please do remember this one next one so far how many banking ombudsmen have been appointed by rpi so we just discussed this particular question so answer is 22 so across the country we have 22 ombudsmen so now these banking ombudsmen they are a part of integrated they also take cases of um, NBFCs or digital transaction as well. Okay, next one. Banking ombudsman or um, ombudsman in India is regulated by. So who regulate uh, these entities or who appoint these particular entities? Your answer will be RBI. So these are appointed and regulated by RBI, and uh, the appointment is generally. Uh, these are regulated as per the uh, Section 35A of Banking Regulation Act 1949. Okay, next one. The ombudsman uh, become effective in which year? So first time when we uh, introduced the ombudsman word, so it was 1995. Okay, so first time RBA when uh, they uh, did some amendment in section 35A, they introduced the ombudsman. Okay, so it was first time introduced in 1995 and the first scheme was banking ombudsman scheme 2006. So scheme was passed in 2006, but it was launched in 1995 under section 35A of Banking Regulation Act 1949. Next one. Banking Ombudsman is um, appointed for a maximum period of um, dash years. So what will be a correct answer? It is appointed for a period of three years. So these are appointed by RBI uh, under Clause 8 of uh, Banking Ombudsman Scheme 2006. And these are generally uh, appointed for a maximum period of three years. Okay. Next one. Which of the following is not a ground of complaint? under banking ombudsman scheme so now like where uh, you have to find out uh, the case where you cannot file a case uh, against any bank okay 
so a refusal of open deposit account with any uh, uh, without any uh, valid reason so this is the case you can uh, approach banking ombudsman okay living of uh, charges without uh, adequate prior notice if bank is uh, charging some extra money uh, without any prior notice so you can also file complaint so this is correct one non observance of rbi directive uh, on interest rate again this is correct if bank is not following the uh directions of rbi is on interest rate so you can also approach uh, uh, banking ombudsman issue regarding national security so issue regarding national security is not a concern of banking ombudsman so d will be correct answer for this particular question okay so uh, do remember this particular one next one which of the following is not a ground of complaint rejection so a complaint rejection under banking ombudsman scheme 2006 okay so if uh, if in opinion of ombudsman no loss or uh, inconvenience has been suffered by the uh, complaint so uh, uh, they can uh, they can um, they can uh, reject that particular complaint or banking ombudsman they can reject that complaint this is like uh, we mentioned banking ombudsman scheme 6 this is similar in your integrated um, a uh, banking of uh, ombudsman scheme so integrated means they just uh, merge all three uh, different different ombudsman scheme so the guidelines are remain same okay uh, frivolous or vexatious uh, complaint so they can also reject that particular complaint if uh, there is access no case and that false complaint the institution complaint against is not covered under scheme so any institutional complaint bank cannot approach uh, Uh, this banking ombudsman okay customer can approach banking ombudsman so this is also correct delay in sanction a uh, disbursement or non observance of a pre described time schedule for disposal disposable of loan so this is a correct one okay let's say you approach some bank for um, a home loan or any other loan so after the documentation they are not um, uh they, they are not disbursement they are not doing the disbursement of amount and all so in that particular case you can approach banking ombudsman okay so option d is the right answer for this particular one next one guys uh who appoint banking ombudsman or ombudsman in india so what will be a correct answer this is very simple one so these are appointed and uh, regulated by rbi reserve bank of india okay next one which of the following bank are covered under banking ombudsman or integrated ombudsman scheme so all banks are generally covered or scheduled bank all scheduled banks are co covered under ombudsman scheme so what will be a correct answer all of the above so these all are the scheduled banks so they all are covered under uh, the uh, ombudsman scheme or the integrated ombudsman scheme 2021 as well okay next one so these all are generally covered under this one uh, next one with reference to banking ombudsman ostd uh, stand for so ostd we already uh, discussed this one so ombudsman scheme for digital transaction which means option b will be correct answer for this particular one okay so ombudsman scheme for digital transaction was passed in 2019 uh, it was uh, it generally work under section 18 of uh, payment and settlement act 2007 and uh, if you have any uh, cases related to your uh, digital transaction and bank is not listening your complaint so you can approach a uh, ombudsman as well okay next one the ombudsman scheme for digital transaction was uh, launched in which of the following year so what will be a correct answer it was launched in 2019 so this is very simple question guys 31st of january 2019 under under section 18 of um, payment and settlement system act 2007 next one ombudsman scheme for nbfcs was launched in which year so what will be a correct answer again 2019 so uh, rbi launch nbfc ombudsman scheme for nbfc so those nbfcs whose uh, asset size is more than 100 crore rupees they generally comes under this one okay so that time now it is also part of uh, integrated ombudsman scheme so 4th of april 2019 it was launched next one the uh, ombudsman uh, banking ombudsman is registered under which of the following act so these are generally comes under section 35a of banking regulation act 1949 so option c will be correct answer again very simple question very straight forward question next one what amount uh, of uh, what amount of charges are made by ombudsman to uh, file a complaint so what will be a answer so they do not charge any fee from customer okay let's say if you have any complaint uh, 
with any bank and if that particular bank is not listening your complaint so you can approach a banking ombudsman uh, or ombudsman so they'll not charge any fee and they'll uh, uh, they, they'll uh, revert back within a time duration of 30 days next one the banking ombudsman is uh, appointed under which clause of banking ombudsman scheme 2006 so they are appointed under clause 8 of uh, Ombudsman Scheme 2006, okay, and appointed by RBI for a period of three years. Next one, which of the following is uh, a ground of complaint under the uh, Ombudsman Scheme? So non-payment or uh, inordinate delay in payment. So this is also correct. Uh, Non-acceptance without sufficient cause, small denomination note tendered. So let's say if you have two rupees or five rupees currency note and if they are not accepting that one or even let's say if you have torn, torn note that note is divided into two three parts or even there is some color or writing on that particular note so they have to accept that particular one in case of note as well as coin so all of the above will be correct answer for this particular question okay so uh, um, and apart from this RBI clean note policy, so clean note policy is RBI advise people ki not to write on currency note and all. So uh, other, like if you have any currency note, which is um, like uh, we have uh, uh, colored currency note or uh, the write, overwrite currency note or torn note. So you can deposit these note uh, with banks and they will not charge any commission for that one. If they are charging or if they are not accepting, you can file a complaint against that particular bank. Okay, next one. Which of the following is ground of complaint under banking ombudsman? So non-payment or delay of payment inward remittances. Okay, let's say you have FD with bank and they are not paying that particular amount on timely basis. So you can file refusal uh, to open an account. So if they are, they are not accepting your account, failure to issue um, or delay um, the issue of draft and pay uh, or uh, bankers. So that is also part of this one. Okay, so again, so what will be a correct answer? D will be correct answer for this particular question. Okay, okay, just give me one minute. So uh, I hope you get this particular one clearly. Next question, uh, which of the following is uh, a ground of complaint rejection under the uh, Banking Ombudsman Scheme 2006? So, um, if uh, uh, the opinion of ombudsman, no loss or inconvenience has uh, suffered by the complaint. So, uh, okay, which of the following is a ground of complaint rejection? So, complaint rejection can be done. So, this is the correct one. Uh, frivolous or vexatious complaint. So, they can reject. Uh, the institution complaint against is not covered under the scheme. So, they can also reject. So, all of the above will be correct answer for this question as well okay so banking ombudsman they can reject that particular complaint if that complaint is um, inconvenience or if it is a false complaint and if it is not covered under the uh, banking ombudsman so here we have list as well okay so if it is um, not accordance to the uh, scheme uh, if the jurisdiction under clause 12 is not appreciated uh, so uh, again if the uh, complaint is um, has no uh, cause or complaint then not um, uh, delayed uh, about this same if uh, in the opinion of ombudsman there is no losses or inconvenience made so again they can reject false complaint or the institution complaint against um, not covered under this scheme so these are the guide these are the areas where basically ombudsman person they can uh, reject any complaint of customers okay next one which of the following bank are covered under banking ombudsman? So all banks, all scheduled banks are generally part of banking ombudsman or NBFCs or even uh, the uh, digital units. Okay. Next one. Which of the following new uh, amendments are uh, made as per banking ombudsman 17? So in 17, um, there were some am amendments done uh, on this uh, ombudsman scheme 6. So sale of insurance, mutual fund and other third party invest, um, investment product by a bank. So they, they are also part of uh, the ombudsman scheme. Mobile and uh, online banking services were included that time. Mutual fund and insurance policies. So all of the above will be correct answer for this particular question as well. Okay. So uh, there were some amendments done in uh, ombudsman scheme 6 and uh, now they are part of um, 
uh, integrated uh, ombudsman scheme 2021 okay next one what is the maximum uh, compensation for ombudsman so what will be a correct answer it is rupees 20 lakh so 20 lakh which means uh, option e will be correct answer for this particular question okay so e is the correct answer so uh, in case of any uh, consequential losses suffered by complaint the ombudsman shall have the power to provide compensation up to 20 lakh rupees so this is the maximum limit which include the overall losses or in uh, the the expenses the harassment mental uh, mental problems so these all are like during uh, to fight that particular case whatever is bear by the customer so the maximum limit is 20 lakh rupees okay next one the ombudsman scheme for digital transaction was launched on so what will be a correct answer 31st of January 2019 so it was uh, launched in 31st uh, in 2019 on uh, 31st uh, January okay next one uh, consider the following statement regarding banking ombudsman so it is uh, uh, you have to find out the incorrect one huh? so uh, it is uh, a mechanism created by IBA which is incorrect one so it is a mechanism created by RBI uh, the uh, scheme was introduced under section 35A of Banking Regulation Act 1949, which is correct one. The uh, banking ombudsman does not charge any fee. So this is also correct. So statement one is incorrect. So from the given statement, incorrect statement is option A. So A will be right answer for this particular question. Also this mechanism of ombudsman is created by RBI and it is defined under section 35A of BR Act 19. Uh, 35 uh, 1949 okay next one guys okay so um, guys i already did a video on uh, priority sector uh, priority sector landing guidelines okay so you can go through that particular video as well so where we discuss number of question based on psl norms so that will definitely going to help you in your examination as well so here we are uh, discuss a few question based on uh, uh, integrated ombudsman scheme of rbi or uh, the question based on banking ombudsman scheme 2006 or the role and responsibilities of banking ombudsman and uh, uh, the um, uh, digital transaction scheme 19 as well as nbfc ombudsman scheme 2019 so now all these three schemes um, we have only scheme or single platform that is called integrated uh, bank uh, integrated ombudsman scheme okay so i hope you guys enjoy the video if you like please do share with your friends and um, Please express your feeling in the comment section as well. So do mention in comments and uh, with which will generally give us some uh, motivation. And uh, please, uh, uh, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and do share with your friends. So this is it. I'll come with the uh, new videos. Hope you enjoy. So bye-bye. Take care all. Have a nice day. Thank you.